We're talking college football upsets for week eight right here on the Our Lads Football YouTube channel, Our Lads Football Network. I'm Greg DePama. He's Mark Lawrence at PlaybookSports.com and the Playbook Experts YouTube channel. So, Mark, uh, last week worked out pretty well. There were only a couple of games. I mean, a few games uh, uh, because we had four. We had one on Friday night. Uh, well, actually, we had two, but we hit one on Friday night with Northwestern. And, not boy, Northwestern, not only did they win, they, they blew out Maryland. Yes, they did. Uh, that was convincing. Then we had the two games on Saturday. We had Florida, and then we had uh, the, uh, the the win outright with Vanderbilt. And so Florida, though, winning the game early, they had like – Five times they're in the red zone. They couldn't even put any points on the board. They fumbled the ball at the one-yard line. And you just knew that it was going to come back to haunt them at some point, and it did. But then even so, they, and then they lose Graham Mertz. And, uh, and, and, and with all that, the game goes to overtime. And they were just not able to get it done. So we came that close uh, to a uh, three out of four last week. Double-digit route right upset. So that was a really good week either way. Um, and, and, and get this over the last couple of weeks, uh, we have moved up now. Uh, so my uh, double digit upsets are seven for 21 plus 690, nice. 690. And that includes three overtime losses. We lost Florida state last week at 450. We lost San Jose state at plus 370 a couple of weeks ago. And we lost the Vandy plus 750 over Missouri a few weeks ago. Uh, but even with those losses, we're still in good shape. We have seven double-digit upset options to talk about this week. We only need two. If we get two out of the seven, then we're, we're, we're in the break-even to being a head mark. Three right. out of seven, and we're sitting really pretty, especially since one of them is on Friday night. And you can check that video out. Uh, that is available, of course, uh, already. We, we posted that. That's our Friday night video uh, 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 report on the four games in college football this week. One of them was Purdue. And again, as I mentioned on that show, that's just one of those. We're up. We might as well take a, uh, you know, a, a roll the dice at a 16-1 to 1 shot. Oregon coming off the Ohio State game. Purdue, the young quarterback looking really good. You like the game uh, as far as the line, though. I know it's like 27, something like that. Yeah, it's a big, big line for a team that plays really, really good as a big, big dog, as does Purdue. And obviously, there's going to be some sort of a letdown here for Oregon after beating Ohio State. There just has to be. Yeah. So, uh, again, don't, don't be uh, putting any comments in the uh, – in you know, as far <laughs> as me being – I'm a big Purdue guy. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm asking you to uh, go down to the bank and, and take out some money and put it all on Purdue. That's not the case. Uh, this is just all a strategy, a formula. Um, and if we hit it, uh, we'll probably won't need to, to, to hit many other winners to, to, to end up on, on the, uh, on the plus side for 2024. But anyway, uh, let's talk about some more reasonable upsets. We're going to go in alphabetical order and let's talk about, uh, the service academies. So, uh, I, you know, I kind of figured as I was going over these and considering them, I was like, you know what, I, I guess if one loses this weekend maybe the second one loses maybe there'll be some karma in that but the reason i'm going uh this direction with both of the service academy teams losing and look i i, I honestly don't hope that that happens but if it does and i i'm glad i'm going to cash on, on, on one or two of them because who doesn't like seeing army and navy undefeated at this point in the season um but there are reasons uh, as far as the uh, east carolina matchup with army i think the spread's about 15 16 the money line's 525 East Carolina is a you know, good team. They're a good team. Matter of fact, they'd be better, but, but unfortunately they lost their star corner a few weeks ago, and that's a big blow for them. Uh, but here's the thing I like about both these games, Mark. Both East Carolina and Charlotte, taking on Navy, had a week to prepare. And you know how important it is to have preparation time going up against the service academies and their triple options and things of that nature. East Carolina also – a very good 14 and four against the spread is double digit dogs under head coach Mike Houston. Nine and one against the spread with a win percentage of more than 200. Um, meanwhile, if you take a look at uh, Navy and the Charlotte matchup, Charlotte is six and zero oh against the spread all time as a dog when they have revenge 
uh, we have to have here, losing the Navy last year, I believe it was. They lost 14 to nothing. Uh, and both teams are coming off wins. Navy, of course, won, and Charlotte won as well. Matter of fact, Charlotte's three and one straight up in the last four games with two outright upsets. And who does Navy play next? Notre Dame. There you go. So a little bit maybe of a look ahead. And for both teams, like I said, and by the way, Army's got a bye next week, and sometimes that's also a distraction. Hey, we can't wait to go on our bye. You know, it's Army, and I don't know what kind of break they get when they go on a bye. I'm not sure they get to go out and party or anything like that. So that might not work in their favor. But anyway, I think there are a couple of reasons that maybe that this is a spot to go with some upsets. Charlotte is, is a, about 5-1. to one. They're plus 490. Uh, what do you think about those two? Well, I think if you do one, you have to do them both. And uh, I, I would make the case to do both of these football teams. I agree with you that the Charlotte uh, to Navy, uh, the big look-ahead football game has to be a factor. So, so, too, does the factor that Navy has allowed season-high yards in two of their football games this year. So they can be exposed defensively in a game like this. Then you're looking at Charlotte who the last 12 times they've been a dog after being a dog the previous game, they've gone 10 and two against the spread. I think it's a nice spot here for Charlotte to fit in here. Uh, the games are starting to get priced here a little bit heavily to the military academies because they are undefeated. And you mentioned East Carolina in that football game against army East Carolina has owned this football team, Greg. They beat them seven times in a row. Uh, oh, no. Yet, yet they're the underdog eight times in a row, I should say. Six and really? two to the spread. Yes. I should have known that. I don't know. I yes. usually catch those. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Eight straight wins in a row for East Carolina here. They're not going to be intimidated, none whatsoever. And this also goes back to what we talked about earlier on one of our takes out the RLATS network here is that when you have teams playing in game seven who are a perfect six and oh, and they're taking on an opponent who was upset as a favorite the game before, they struggle like all get out. That's the role for Army against East Carolina here. I'm going to grab the points with East Carolina, and I will likely be with you when you call a big double-digit upset play on this football game. All right, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and again, if I lose either game, I'm not going to cry over it because uh, seeing Army and Navy in the uh, AAC championship game uh, could be pretty entertaining. Ahead of the Army-Navy regular ending season game, which would be a really, really a travesty. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Uh, that is, yeah, that would be kind of weird. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, a uh, few more to go, and that is uh, we're in the Georges. I might as well just uh, let everybody know I do have Georgia Tech over Notre Dame as long as Haynes Kings play, so you got to watch that. The game is at 3.30. And if you want my 